this is really one of the great purposes of VA research is to help veterans and, and understand their conditions and find treatments for the conditions that are specific to what they get while they were in the military. The VA conducts research uh, to find new ways of diagnosing and treating disease. If VA and others didn't conduct research, we would be stuck where you know we were 100 years ago or 200 years ago or maybe in the Middle Ages. So society needs to support this so that we find uh, treatments for conditions, find new ways of diagnosing conditions, find ways of preventing conditions. It's been these recent, most recent years, the last eight years, that I think have really felt transformational when it comes to VA research. Uh, clearly we live in a time of some national challenges, but we have enormous opportunities. So despite our national challenges, it's been a period of really uh, accelerating important growth in the VA's research portfolio. I, like many people, attribute that uh, in significant part to the work of my friend and colleague, uh, Dr. Joel Coopersmith, whom I first worked with when we were both deans, and I was so pleased to see him move into the VA research leadership role, where we've been great partners. The biggest challenge for to run a major research program is to make the most use of the resources. To get the most research, the most help for people out of that, out of those resources, is, is the biggest challenge. Uh, when the nation was first coming to grips around uh, comparative effectiveness research, I can remember that Joel uh, authored an essay on the value of comparative effectiveness research. And I think it really changed the way a lot of institutions viewed that. And since then, now with this new emphasis on patient-centered outcomes research, the early work and the, and the championing of that that the VA did under Joel's leadership, I think really set the stage for all of us to engage more widely in comparative effectiveness research. And I should say the same thing about implementation science. Uh, before Joel started talking about implementation research, there were a lot of people that didn't even know what it was. But when the VA embraced it, and it's really looking at not only doing comparative effectiveness research, but understanding how to implement that into routine practice. Joel was a big proponent of that, and I think helped set the stage for that to become much more broad than it was initially. I've known Joel Coopersmith for many years, uh, when he was uh, back in training even, and admired what he's accomplished at every stage of his career. In the last eight years, he's been an extraordinary leader for the research and development program at the Veterans Administration. And he's done a lot in that job to help veterans and to help the nation. Our overall goals have not changed much over these eight years. I think the details have changed because we have findings and then based on those findings we move ahead. So the, the research projects depend on previous findings and the situation, and the situation of war has, has not uh, changed. We deal with veterans in the long term, so the fact that the war ends won't change the fact that we have to deal with these conditions when they come back. It, it is very important that veterans in the nation at large know about VA research so that one is they know what benefits have been derived from it, and that they know why people are spending money on it. So I think it's very important that the public at large know about VA research. It's very difficult because most people don't think that VA does research. They don't know that VA does research. Even many veterans don't. And we have done our best over the last eight years to make at least veterans aware of it and at least make those who are stakeholders, veteran service organizations and others like that, aware of what we're doing. One of the important things that veterans should know is that uh, their participation in research is crucial. We can't do that. We can't do research without their help. And that's another reason why veterans need to know about it. I think there's an understanding among those who, who decide on these things that VA research is important. That the, there's a much greater understanding, I think, within the government and in the stakeholders about how beneficial this program is. And I think that will also serve as an infrastructure and foundation uh, for its good health in the future. VA Research, improving veterans' lives.